Our final guest today is Lindsay Karamahalis, and she's a physical therapist with Novant Health Rehabilitation Center in Shalote. Welcome to our show, Lindsay. It's such a pleasure, pleasure to have you. Thank you for having me. Good. Um, well, tell me a little bit about your background, where you went to school, and um, so our viewers will get to know you. Sure. I'm originally from Florida. I went to the University of Florida for my undergrad degree mm -hmm. um, in applied physiology and kinesiology, and then I moved to High Point, North Carolina for my doctorate in physical therapy. And I graduated in April 2022, so I came out here to start my career. Well, great. We're glad to have you. So, was there a reason why you chose this field? Had you had some interest in it prior to school? Or? Yeah, I was actually pretty lucky growing up in that I decided I wanted to be a PT when I was in middle school. Oh, <laughs> so it was kind of just something that clicked for me. Oh. My mom's best friend was a physical therapist. Oh, so. so I had that exposure and yeah. then I just always hung on to that idea and then eventually, Good. yeah, became oh, a PT. Awesome. That's awesome. Sometimes, you, I know my oldest son was going to be 14 different things before he ever <laughs> decided what his major was, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So you focus on uh, pelvic rehabilitation, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. So that's a new service for us here. We've not had that. So I'm uh, really excited for you to explain to us what, what the goal is for um, pelvic rehab. Yeah, so... I would say my overall goal is to just get people functioning better. Mm -hmm. um, education regarding um, what's going on can be really powerful. So spreading that education, uh -huh. um, taking a look at are they having pain? Are they having weakness? Are they having mobility deficits? Is that interfering with their pelvic floor? Um, I would say just taking a look at the person, getting to know their history um, and kind of what's been going on and then mm -hmm. addressing what I find on my uh, physical exam too. Mm -hmm. Well, what kind of symptoms would they exhibit? Yeah, so I see a wide range of things and um, men and women too. So that's something that a lot of people, I guess you could say, um, don't realize that we can see both uh, men and women. So commonly we'll see someone if they're having urinary incontinence, oh. frequency, um, urgency, and then pre and postpartum women. Um, we'll see men after they've had a prostatectomy. Mm -hmm. So um, commonly they'll experience some leakage with that. So we teach them how to properly use the muscles that they haven't had to use before. <laughs> um, and then I can also see um, pelvic pain, pain with intercourse, um, mm -hmm. testicular pain, um, some gastroenterology things, so constipation, oh. irritable bowel syndrome. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize there that the pelvic floor Oh yeah, affects all that stuff. All connected. Yeah, that's. How about back pain? Is that sure? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's it's tied in. So I always do a really? screen. I'll always screen for back pain, hip pain, and um, SI joint pain, and oh, yeah. treat those. Um, typically, I'll treat those first and see if I can have an impact on the pelvic floor symptoms, since everything is related. Um, the pelvis is kind of the whole anchor to See, the body. I think body. I need to see you. I yeah. have that SI. You <laughs> should come. Was... <laughs> I think I need an appointment. <laughs> um, uh, I'm curious, are there many misconceptions about pelvic health rehab? Yeah, I would say one of the most common misconceptions is that, oh, like, what can they do for me? I do kegels, and oh, kegels yeah. is like the million dollar word. Or I know. I know. So... Um, it's so much more than that, and I'm never seeing a patient and just prescribing them kegels. Um, <laughs> I, that might be something that we do and call it pelvic floor contraction for strengthening, right. but it's not just that. It's so much more than that. So um, that would be a one common That's misconception. One. Um, the other one you kind of touched on is that both men and women have pelvic floors and they have <laughs> the same muscles down there. It's just a little bit different uh, as a in regard to the anatomy. So, um, yes, men have a pelvic floor. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much the two common misconceptions. Oh, another one I do hear a lot as well. I'm getting older, so it's just, it's I just expect it. Like, <laughs> there's nothing you can do for me. It's just, I'm old. And 
Yeah, I mean, it, it increases in prevalence um, mm -hmm. leakage as you get older, but that doesn't mean there aren't things that we can do to help. Right, yeah. Um, when you're uh, in therapy for this, is there uh, like a, a set amount of time it takes and like how many sessions do you have? Yeah, it's a wide range. I, I'll give oh, you a range though, It'll, anywhere from four to 10 visits. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's it based on history, um, complexity of the problem, mm -hmm. but yeah, I, I mean, I've even seen someone in just three visits. So it just depends what they've got going on and how much we can tackle, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't like to see someone for more than 10 visits. I, I don't want to draw it out. I want to give you the tools to do it at home. That's what I was going to ask you. So I assume that after your treatments are finished, um, that there are exercises that have to be done for probably the rest of your life? Yeah, um, it all comes into managing the symptoms. So maybe mm. you're not doing them as much as you were at the beginning because your body is just um, adapting yeah. and um, healing. So, but it, it, I do like to have people be independent with their home program. So I wanna give you the tools so that if this problem does come up again in the future, you know exactly what to do. Um, and then if you do need me, you can always come back. But I want, that's always one of my goals that I write is independence with home programs so that they um, are confident in what they need to do and can manage their symptoms well. Um, I know that you all just moved into your beautiful new mm -hmm. um, a facility in Shalote, and I'm curious when you're doing your exam, is it a more private area? Are you in? Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, I have a private treatment room there, and it's I'm very lucky. So I've been in other clinics, and it's very small and feels cramped, but it's beautiful. It's a big treatment room, so we have room to move. We have a table, and then somewhere to put your things. But it's all private, because um, I think that yeah. that might. Um, folks might need to know that. Oh, absolutely. And everything is done with privacy in mind. So, and also um, whatever someone is comfortable with, that's where we go. We don't, mm -hmm. you know, if I guess something that comes up is, do I have to do an internal exam? And I like to say that there's so much more we can try before we go to that. Okay. Um, so I don't ever push that on anybody. Mm -hmm. I will say if we've tried other things and they haven't worked, that is a really good way of getting to the problem and letting me actually assess what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's an option, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, because I think that would be come up in uh, people's minds would, mm -hmm. it, would there be an internal exam and sure um, and the privacy issue because mm -hmm. a lot of uh, physical therapy offices there aren't a lot of private rooms mm -hmm. and um, I think that would be a, a hindrance to some people so it's great to know yes. that privacy is really taken care of there mm -hmm. and um, and that it's not always an internal exam right so yeah. well um, that's a, a lot of information and I really would like you to come back because I think there's other things we can talk about and I'd yeah. love to get you out to meet some of our providers um, to talk about your new services and our new services yeah. since we haven't had this. So thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate it. You've been a delight. Oh, thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.